So I finally got to try out Dante, and you know what? Yeah, everybody was right about him. He is absolutely insane and a fantastic Warframe. Powerful, fun, subjectively speaking, and can do mostly whatever you throw at him. But how do you build him anyway? Growing power, transient fortitude, blind rage, umbral intensify. If you don't have the umbral version, use the normal version. If you don't have the prime mod, use the normal ones. And of course, mold augmented as well. When it comes to range, you gotta have one range mod. Stretch is mandatory. Auger reach, not so much. If you're having issues with energy, you can swap this one out for streamline. And if you're gonna do that, you might as well swap mold efficiency out or energize if he has that one. Equilibrium and prime flow on the same warframe, preposterous. That's overkill. Not when we're gonna be spamming as much as we're spamming. And of course, you do need that duration for a bit more comfort. So prime continuity is a must, while mold efficiency is optional. Oh, and more powerful. Yes. Shards? Did I mention Dante loves power strength? So you can go full on red, but my recommendation would be to skip two of them and go for yellow and casting speed. And with these, you'll be so spamming that Simaris will actually block all of your abilities. Yeah. Temporarily disabled that ability. What about his kit though? Is it perfect or should I swap anything out? While Dante is an amazing Warframe, I would still swap out his one ability Noctua for either Nourish or Roar. Roar if you're playing with a party and energy is not a concern, and Nourish if you prefer to play a bit more solo. Now let's take a gander at how Dante actually plays. You should always aim to keep your helmet ability up, and then I go 2, 2 and 4. Boom! Massive amounts of Overguard. That means I'm status immune. That means they can't knock me back and I don't need Prime Sure Footed. If I want to kill stuff, free, free, And then finally a 4. Massive! Area of effect new, but after the nerf, it does have line of sight. Also, you can use 224 again to cap out that fantastic overguard, especially if you're in a group and your services require keeping everybody alive, which will happen more than you think. And again, 334, boom, new. 224, massive overguard, fantastic. However, there's a bit more to Dante than just that. You should also keep up 324. This combination will give you page flight. Now you can see the buff in the upper right portion of the screen right here. It's fantastic because it makes enemies status vulnerable, status chance vulnerable, and status damage vulnerable. The other buff that you should have up if you plan on using your gun is 2, 3, and 4. And this one is called Ward Warden. Essentially, you're going to get a free knock to a hovering next to you, which will fire when you fire. Kind of like this. And that's pretty much it to Dante gameplay. So what do I do? I keep up my overguard with 2, 2, 4. I nuke everybody with free, free, four, and I also try to keep up my buffs. Most important will be the free, two, four, or page flight. It summons these little birdies that attack enemies. Not only are they making them more vulnerable to status chance and status damage, but they're also drawing away fire, which will be a whole lot more useful in the high level. And that's pretty much all there is to Dante gameplay. Enjoy. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe only if you enjoy the content. If you got any feedback for me, let me know in the comment section down below. You can also catch me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.